This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Razi Alkin and I'm back with another tour review and today G1 Universe Autobot Gears from Legacy United. And I have to say I growing up I kind of forgot Gears existed. I uh, never had the toy. Don't know anyone who had the toy. Uh, and then when I start rewatching Transformers like 20 years later, I realize oh there's a gears uh so i'm not i don't have anything against him i'm just not a you know a, a huge fan uh but this is a fantastic representation i mean the alt mode's a bit different than what we're used to but it's really good and the uh you know face sculpt uh sorry because of the ring light the face sculpt is really good so we're gonna take a look at that i'm uh, this i'm waiting for swoop and after Swoop, I have a complete Season 1 Autobot collection. And I actually I think my Decepticon is complete as well. So Season 1, I'm done until they get a new Wind Charger out. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And uh, then I'll, after that, I'll be able to focus on Season 2, 3, Beast Wars, and, you know, the odds and ends uh, that I like to collect. But before I do all that, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformer. And now let's roll the intros. Alright, let's take a look at gears. Autobot gears. I have to say, I don't know if you have to say it every time, but you know, they keep saying it's Autobot gears. I don't know, maybe there was a copyright on just the word gears. Uh, whatever. The artwork, beautiful as usual. Uh, Legacy United really does uh, great work for that. Uh, nice representation of the character. Nice uh, head sculpt. He looks less grumpy on this shot than he did on the show. But, you know, I'm sure he squeaks and, and squawks uh, all the same. Um, I should have um, not plugged this before the review, uh, but uh, it, he's been open for a couple of days now, so sorry about that. But, I mean, once you put it in there, you really don't want to pull on it to remove it. Uh, it's pretty solid. Uh, but be careful not to lose it, because it comes in that you know, paper tissue thing, and uh, you don't want to, you know, miss it. Uh, because he arrives without the plate um, in the box. All right, so artwork, everything. 12 steps, very easy transformation, I have to say. So that's, you know, sometimes it's fun. Sometimes you want something more complicated, but I'm not a fan of overly complicated stuff. The gun, oh, sorry, knocking the camera. A uh, bit, uh, well, two waffles, you know, on each side, here and here. Not too bad, uh, looks good and you know two pegs hand and vehicle mode instructions very easy to follow um you know hasbro knows this stuff uh see so that's how you plug the uh, the plate but it it really doesn't move after that um i mean you could i just don't want to risk uh, snapping it off uh where to place the gun transformation in plenty of steps so there you go and gears gears themselves actually let me clean that up gear himself looks really good he's uh you know the right size uh, that they did those deluxe mini bot but he only has one accessory like bumblebee had that super gun brawn was a little taller uh clip jumper also had that cannon um i feel like they had a little more plastic added to them um Huffer had uh, the uh, you know special gun. Anyway, so it's that's what it uh, looks like, and he's pretty good. So yeah, you have the gimmick of the plate so that you can recreate that one episode. The secret sensor scan of all the Autobots revealed that you alone have the special circuit I need. What happened? I'm guessing Toy Hacks is gonna fill that up um, nicely. 
Uh, nice head sculpt, the color, the red, the blue, and the gray looks really good. Uh, he's, well, it, he's not empty. There's no waffle uh, to speak of, uh, and he cleans up really nice. Uh, big of a backpack, but I think they did a good job. Because he's not, he's not back heavy at all. He stands perfectly. And, uh, you know, posability. Uh, the joints are tight, but, you know, you can place him and he doesn't feel like he's gonna fall off. So, yeah, that's a plus. So, all right, let's do uh, articulation. So, uh, even though in he didn't move his head, head, head much in G1, he does have a full 360 and uh, he can give you a bit of attitude and he has a little back and forth, you know, up, down. So it looks good. Uh, but when you move the head, the back is gonna unclip because it's gonna knock on the wheels. And the wheels are actually where you peg uh, with the pegs here in the back. So yeah, be careful with that. Uh, you have your Ferris wheel, no problem. You do have a butterfly at the elbow, that's awesome. Uh, you have a rotation underneath the shoulder, and I just said butterfly at the elbow, I mean the shoulder, sorry about that. You have a double elbow because of transformation, and you have a rotation at the hand, but you don't have a um, back and forth. Uh, what else you got? You have a, well, no ab crunch, you have a full merry-go-round, and then after that, that guy I'm pretty sure is going to give me a full... Actually, you know, can you? Oh, look at that. You can have a very nice Johnny Cage. That looks good. I mean, you know, or you can just flatten them out like that. Oh, he stands a little, uh, okay, no, you can work it so that he's gonna stand, but yeah, he does wanna fall backward. Ah, there you go. Oh, here's your Johnny Cage. After that, you do have a rotation underneath the uh, hip joint you have a fantastic knee bend again because of transformation and you don't have a toe tilt well nah that's just part of the transformation but i mean you could use that to stand him you know it works so yeah i guess it's a toe tilt and then you have your ankle rocker uh, on the inside not the outside all right, and now let's uh, give him his gun. That's easy for you to say. Your pulleys don't squeak. Your squeaking's not the problem. It's your squawking. He's a mean little Autobot. So, all right, let's do some size comparison uh, with this guy. So, here's Legacy United G1 Universe Gears with Power of the Prime's Wind Charger from the Prime Wars trilogy. And he's holding uh, Bumblebee's gun because uh, he didn't have any accessory. But uh, that's my last non War for Cybertron and Legacy uh, Transformers uh, for the uh, Minibots. So I can't wait for an update. Studio Series 86 Brawn, and I think they scale perfectly with one another. Love both of these guys. And Earthrise Optimus Prime, who's making a comeback, I hear. Hasbro's going heavy on Optimus this, uh, this year. They could have done something different. I mean, apparently we're getting a Studio Series 86 Optimus Prime. Why re-release Earthrise? I don't know. It's just me. All right, moving on. All right, and because it's simple and... Uh, not too complicated. I'm gonna do transformation. Hey, can't you even wait for me? Hey, guys! So you're gonna remove the gun. I'm gonna unpeg this. Open this up. Flip the head around. It's optional. Uh, then you wanna close those elbows like this, and then. Uh, no, that's right. You put them in front like this. Oh, come on, go in. There you go. Uh, oh, yeah, that's yeah. So that's going to be the front. So you have those two pegs here where these well, those portholes. Sorry here. And the pegs is going to go inside. And I'm telling you, it's sometimes it goes in smooth. And uh, sometimes they want to pop out, so be careful. 
Uh, the legs, the, not the legs, the wheel could clip a little better. They're a little shaky. And then after that, you pull out the heel, not the heel, but you know, the windows. Uh, and then you individually place them and that's gonna create your door right here. And you have a peg here to go in that little red slot right there. Have to line everything up and then this is gonna come um you know you have those two holes here for those two pegs here clip it like that and then just close i mean there's little holes here but and they're supposed to clip somewhere here but it it, it does but it's not really tight and there's gears and again all the wheels want to pop in from the uh, um, you know on the inside so and then you can put the gun. Well, you have to put it on the side. Actually, yeah, you put it on the side, but with the clip upward. That's what the instruction will show you. Oh, there you go. Here's gears in vehicle mode. And to keep going, we're gonna do the comparison. Kingdom Tigatron, just cause he's in beast mode already. And you know, roller from, oh man, what's the company? I want to see fans toys, but I don't think that's it. Anyway, that big masterpiece roller that you can uh, transform. I'll put the name uh, here. Uh, but I wanted to compare because he has the same wheel problems. They don't clip, they just sit there. He does a little clipping, but it's not tight enough. So, yeah. And my custom painted to match the gold uh, Snarl from Studio Series 86. And I'm showing him off because I'm excited to, uh, we're, that we're getting a uh, swoop soon. I mean, he looks great. I mean, the paint, I can see that's what I mean. It pops easily here. So that's a bit of a QC issue, but the rest, so the wheels flap in and those pegs are the only issue. Everything else looks good. Autobot logo, nice windows. Uh, now they're going with all that pale blue. Um, and now Toy Hacks has started releasing just windows for cars. So if you want that cell shaded stuff, it's the time. But I think they're doing bundle pack. Like they have Ironhide and Ratchet right now. So, and the, of course, the Generation Select 5 pack. Um, so I ordered all of that because I love cell shaded windows. So I'm hoping that they go back to cell shaded stuff just, you know, included in the set. So uh, it's kind of weird to have the back plate in the back like that, but it cleans up nice. I mean, you can't see any robot parts really. Uh, you know, you see the hands a little bit, but it's really, it, you know, there's no hollowness, no nothing, so it cleans up real good. So there you go, final look at gears and alt mode. And here's the money shot, kinda. So they all scale well together, except, you know, Wind Charger needs an update. But I'm glad to have all the, you know, original uh, mini bots, all drawn by Mark Watts. Uh, that original packaging looks really good even to this day. But the more cartoon accurate version of this figure, uh, it's fantastic. So I'm really happy to have all this. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love of reading those. Keep coming back after more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.